Bears of Thrills. Hurricane Harbor. Are these lanes open? It says speedy. I should have it. different because it's built on like a hillside. There's a stand-up coaster here that's the green and yellow track. Let's go for the pull through by Superman. Someone was telling me earlier in the trip there's a reason for the yellow track. Anyway, all parked up. Hey guys, Steam Park Mark here. At the uh, last major park on this trip, and it's uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. That's Superman. Um, excited to go get on uh, King de Kuna and then El Toro, and my favorite uh, B&M Hyper, which is Nitro. Uh, excited to take you guys along with me. Um, giddy up. Hey, look who's joining us today. Not your normal guy. What's up? First visit to Great Adventure? Yeah, I've never been here before at all. You're gonna like, in high school. You're gonna like some of these coasters. Probably not all of them, <laughs> but some of them. So we're headed on in. Parked over by Superman. Looks to be a fairly busy day. It's the day after 4th of July. 50th anniversary, I guess, is that what that's for? I think we saw a sign coming in. Entrance. what appears to be a new coaster. I don't think it's operating yet. I don't remember that there last year. And we're in this little plaza area. For some reason, I don't remember this like lion statue. Maybe I just walked by and not didn't notice previously. <laughs> not sure if that's new or not, but I don't remember seeing it. Nice fountain there. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to go first, maybe head off to the left and do uh, some of the DC area, maybe head towards King of the Kai, El Toro, we'll see. No real plan today, just try and do all the, whatever coasters we can. He's getting coffee. I don't think I've ever seen this open. This is, um, there's a lot of these in Europe. The um, Vacoma Madhouse, I believe it is. I've never been on one of these. I always want to check one of these out. Guess I'm gonna have to go to Europe to do it. Nicely themed area. I think we're heading towards El Toro and King de Ka. And now my favorite part, paying for a locker. Kind of a crappy system but um, they force you to pay for lockers here because um, they don't allow any loose articles on the ride, including cargo pockets. Really, really, I, I don't like this at all. Being forced to pay when other parts do this for free. It's a really crummy system, but I hear that King Ka has some sort of ticket system this year for free. So we'll just have to see how that works later on. But we gotta get a locker for El Toro and uh, Jersey Devil as well. Everything in a locker. Forty-two oh seven. I'm not done I'm, yet. I know, I'm not either. Forty-two oh seven. Everything in a locker. All right. So I lied. Uh, it's this ride that has the ticketing system. So they have lockers like kind of halfway through the queue. Give you a ticket you can put your you can use it to open up a locker uh, double-sided so that you can put your stuff in the locker 
And when you get off the ride on the other side, you just use the ticket to pick up your stuff for free. So it's on this ride, El Toro. We just went ahead and got the all day locker anyway, for, cause I'm pretty sure they don't have this system on the other lockers. It's at least one step in the right direction. Hopefully they can get that uh, mid queue locker situation sorted out for uh, the other rides, which I believe is King Ka and Jersey Devil, at least. There, there might be more, but I think those are the two that I remember. shaky I will say maybe it's because I'm a little bit sluggish this morning too I didn't didn't have a great sleep last night um, <laughs> it'll probably be in the travel vlog but uh, not staying at the best of hotels around the area so the, the bed was a little bit lacking um, still just an amazing wooden coaster uh, Intamin I believe there's like three or four of these around the world um, this is the only one in the US but uh, it, it is definitely best on the middle seats and the wheel seats give you a very, very rough ride. Last year, um, I sat in a, in a wheel seat and had one of the roughest rides on the coaster I've ever had. And then I literally stayed on the train because there was no line. I moved back one row into the middle seat and I had one of the best roll, uh, wooden coaster rides I've ever had. So it's a huge difference between the wheel seats and the non-wheel seats. So make sure you stick to the non-wheel seats. All right, we're headed towards King of Con next. I haven't seen the train running at all, so I'm skeptical whether this is open or not. Um, I don't remember this path kind of connecting El Toro with King of Ka. I remember having to walk like all the way back out and then back in again. So it's nice that they put this path here. At least I think it's fairly new. Where we're headed to King Ka, along this path. I like this little mural here, but I've been foiled again two years in a row. King Ka is closed today. That is unfortunate. My luck is never the best, as we know. Looks like the mine train is back open. It was closed earlier. We're just taking the path underneath. Toru heading towards Medusa in the back corner. You the there with King the Ka in the background. We shot was open today. Two massive structures right next to each other. King the Ka, El Toro. It's both amazing rides. Time for Medusa, being in Florless. Very good one, too. Right, so the locker system wouldn't take his code. I can't remember if there were bins here or not. Does it only last for a couple? 
couple hours. It should be all day. This looks like it's on one train off, nope. too. Yeah, 139 to 75. Yeah. No, that's today. So it's it only lasts for like what? two hours. I thought it was all day. Only lasts for that two That was like hours. maximum usage. So the walker code has expired. So I paid 9.35. That's ridiculous. For something that's only gonna last for two hours. And we got one train ops here, a long line. It's very hot out. They're making people stand in the sun. This is not good. Might have to come back and ride this tomorrow or some other time. This is pretty much a no-go for now. This sign clearly says ten dollars transferable from one ride locker to the location to the next. It doesn't say it expires in a certain amount of time. Other than this, you must retrieve your items within two hours of overage charges will apply. Overages for what? For the single ride? For the multiple ride? Like, this is extremely confusing. All, all ride locker rentals are single use. And you're rental, but what about the multiple rides? How, that's multiple use. This is the most confusing sign so I've ever seen. It makes yeah. no sense. It's not true. Unbelievable, Six Flags. Get it together. All right, we're going to try the mine train. Hopefully it's running two trains, or if it's running one, hopefully it's not too long of a line. But uh, we'll see. Looks like we do indeed have two trains. Wow. We will give this a ride. How's that ride? Yeah. Great suspension. The regular one. 1974. That escalated quick, dude. That was actually very good. First half was excellent. Got a little jolty in the second half, though. Most importantly, running two trains. One of the best operations of the day. Although El Toro's operations were good, too. Multiple trains. So we're two for five so far. So, on a very hot day, it stands to reason that, of course, water ride would be dry. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this open on any of my visits. This is probably the, one of the hottest days, if not the hottest day of, of my entire trip. And no water ride running. Much with uh, pretty much half the park. It's a cool little display. A cloud came in and gave us some uh, much needed shade for right now. But it's not gonna last. I do like it showing the history though. Rolling Thunder, 1979. Six Flags kind of day is playing in the background here. It's kind of funny because that's kind of what we're having with half the park being closed or one train operations. Pretty dismal so far. I do love Nitro and I hope that's open and I hope it's running multiple trains today. It was closed earlier. Keeps going. Still going. I 
I will say this is a very beautiful park. The lake right here, very beautifully presented. It is clean. I just wish the uh, operations were a little bit better today. Maybe it'll be better tomorrow on a Saturday. It is a nice park and the coasters here are really good. But there's a lot of improvements that need to be made here, at least from what I've seen today. I'm guessing this is where people watch the fireworks show from. Fourth of July yesterday. Nice little lawn area. Fireworks are probably, I'm guessing, over the lake. There's also a bunch of benches here too. Looks like there's another show tonight. The sign said uh, July 4th and 5th, so. We'll have to see uh, if we can check that out. If it's not too crowded and can find a seat. Oh look, another SNS free spin. How fun. Do I want to ride it? No. Not today. You know, the Six Flags bus here. I see this at Magic Mountain a lot. Not this, not this exact one, but one like it. We got a little junior coaster here. Harley Quinn, Crazy Train. I already got this credit a while back. I'll probably give that a miss today. Um, what is this? It's like a fountain, a pool, and a clock. I'm very confused right now. We're approaching Skull Mountain. You think that's going to be fun? It's in for a surprise. It's actually not terrible, but there's not much to it. The theming on the outside is probably the best part of the ride. Cool waterfall, there's a skull. I'm not gonna do a POV because it's pitch black in there, you can't see anything anyway, but we'll give this a go. Shaded indoor hue. Much needed on a day like today. Alright, Skull Mountain. Got some more waterfalls here, so that was different. It was like, it had like um, dance music going. Um, lights flickering, felt like a, a rave, like a dance party. Um, not the same as what I remember. I remember it being completely dark in there. And I don't remember if there was any music or not the last time I wrote it. It's been a few years. But uh, I think uh, we might give this another go again. It was actually pretty fun. setting to a different song. It's a good fun little uh, indoor junior coaster. A little bit better than what I remember. Skull Mountain. Uh, I think we might head towards Nitro, maybe Jersey Devil next. We'll see what's open and running. Um, Skull Mountain's on two trains, good operations. It's been a very uneven day in terms of operations. The waterfall. Yeah, head towards Nitro next, I think. We got some water. Stay hydrated, folks. We're actually heading into the Gotham City area, right next to Nitro. Dark Knight show building. And there's another Batman, the ride clone. A lot of those around. Now, for fans of Batman the Ride, and Batman the Ride, and Batman the Ride, here is Batman the Ride. Another B and M invert, Batman clone. Let's do this.
Dan's ride. I do like the layout. Very compact. I can see why they cloned it. And another Dark Knight coaster, just like one at Great America that started the trip. You will also get a look at the, uh, the new coaster, Flash, after this. I think it's around the corner. We'll give this a go again. And oh, look, free jumping. Wonderful. Six flags. Those kids try to tell us that they had Flash Pass. They most certainly did not. This is the Flash Pass entrance right here. Nowhere close to where they were running through. Anyway, Dark Knight. That's a good old-fashioned beat down that ride. Beat you up all over the place. Sudden drops, sudden turns. Not very comfortable. I think we're going to check out the new coaster, Flash, which I don't think is open yet. And it might be opening later in the summer, I think. Let's go take a look. What, what, what is this place? Is there, a, is there a show here? Is this an employee break area? I'm not sure what this is. Very strange. He's more upset than I am, but it's just weird. And we got another closed ride, Wonder Woman Lasso. Looks like a Max Air uh, like, um, pendulum ride. I think it's just closed for the whole day. The newest coaster is Flash. That's back here. We're gonna go take a look at it. Should be pretty close to nearing uh, completion. I would expect it to open maybe towards the end of the summer. And here it is. A Vacoma Giant Boomerang, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. I know it's Vacoma and I know it's a boomerang. Don't know the exact nomenclature, but uh, Flash. Looks like it's nearing completion and there's a flat ride right there as well. This looks like it could be good. Kind of runs alongside the entrance. We also have a uh, Battle for Metropolis here. Like one we saw at uh, Great America at the start of the trip. I think we might give this a go since we walked over here. Hopefully the hopefully all the effects are working this time. Last time we just had the uh, last screen not working. We'll give this a try. Some work going on, but Cyborg is the name of the ride. I don't really feel comfortable uh, filming people while they're trying to work and start the ride, but this is what it looks like right now. They should know about the be extra careful out there today, because moves are a joker set Alright, battle for Metropolis. All effects were working. My gun seems to get a little wonky at times, but uh, probably one of the best versions I've seen of that ride. We have a bar here in the Explorarium. I want to say ex Exportarium. <laughs> but not open. Maybe it'll open when Flash opens, you might guess. This is up next. I'm gonna go for a ride on Nitro and then probably take a little bit of a break. Best being m Hyper in my opinion. So much airtime. It's relentless. Beautiful setting. I just love Nitro. Time for some B&M Hyper goodness. Nitro. Doesn't look like much of a line.
you're looking for airtime, floater air, it's got a ton of it, more than any other BM coaster, BM hyper coaster I've ridden. Just an incredible ride. You go out into the woods. It's even an intense feeling that I'm almost worried out on such a hot day. What a ride. Last major coaster up. Jersey Devil. Yeah, this is another one where you have to leave stuff in lockers. Not a fan of it. Do they have lockers in the queue or not? The lockers are over this way. But they don't have anything even for cell phones? Nope, nothing in the queue. It's not a long way. It's a good single rail. There's a confusing sign that makes no sense. spots but it's still a great ride um, I love these uh, single rail coasters I have two of them in California one of them in my backyard at Great America Railblazer they're just good rides like crazy transitions stuff you can't really do on larger trains with like two or four seats wide so you get a lot of maneuvers that you don't normally experience on any other coasters just a very good, solid overall ride. Um, two train operations here. I feel like the operations have gotten much better as the day's gone on. It was uh, very grim this morning where a lot of coasters were closed or running one train, um, but it's definitely improved as we've made our way across the park. So uh, a bit uneven, but still overall, I think a, a, a decent day, just very hot, which obviously the, the park can't control the weather. These uh, clouds have come in in the afternoon as well. Kind of made it for a little bit of a more comfortable experience uh, than it was earlier. Uh, I think we're going to try to just take a little break, uh, get something to drink, find a, a bar or restaurant or something just to chill out for a bit. And then uh, after that, I don't know, maybe we'll do some more coasters we haven't done or just re-ride some, uh, some of the favorites. So that's what's next. All right, he's live streaming. Here's another look at Flash. Actually, looks really good. I get a ride on this next year, maybe next next visit, anyway. All right, so we just got done with the live stream. Sat around for a little bit. Found out the fireworks were not starting until 9:30, so uh, we're gonna kind of head out a little bit early. He's got a long drive tomorrow. Um, I'm coming back here. It'd be nice to get some extra rest. Uh, if you guys haven't already, check out his channel, Not Your Normal Guy. Hey! Let's get him to 50,000 next. <laughs> or whatever the next milestone is. I've lost track. 50,000 would be about the next milestone. Yeah, I think yeah. so. 
or check out his channel. Um, anyways, guys, from uh, Six Flags Great Adventure, until tomorrow, I'm signing off. Take care, guys. All right, just parked. Start of day two, Saturday, at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. Coming into the parking lot, went over to the right, um, like I did yesterday, and there was no one manning the gate, and there was one guy running back and forth between four different gates. Well, it looked like three different gates, and then I asked him, like, are you working three gates here? He's like, nope, four, actually. <laughs> like, well, that's inefficient, <laughs> and it kind of sucks for him, too. Uh, so I, I actually didn't get mad at him or anything, because it's not his fault, and he's doing the best he can. But that's pretty terrible. They have one guy operating four parking gates. Um, yeah, that's pretty pretty terrible. At least put a cone out or something in front of the other gates and just have them work one. I don't know why they didn't do that. That's kind of crazy. I've never seen that before. Anyway, heading on into the park. I um, think I'm probably going to do uh, Nitro first. And uh, we'll just see from there. Looks like it's going to be another hot day too. This guy's back for a second day trying to do four parks in one day. He's starting here at Great Adventure and then he'll head out. I'm going to stay here all day. But we're starting at Nitro. It's our first ride of the day and it's a good one.
myself. I was riding Nitro. Uh, so, not your normal guy and I rode Jersey Devil. It's running one train. I have four trains. I don't know what's going on there. It's a Saturday. Uh, anyway, he's headed out. He's trying to do that whole four parks in one day thing. I'm gonna hang out here, great adventure, and uh, probably ride Nitro a little bit more, and then I think I'm gonna do some of the other stuff that we didn't do yesterday. So I'll kind of cover that. Um, more of this uh, day two. <laughs> It's time to take a break. Of course there's a storm coming in. Why wouldn't there be? Seems like nobody knows about this seating area. I'm gonna chill out here for a bit, wait for the storm to pass. All right, just got another ride on Jersey Devil. Um, so it's just about the flash pass system. And they do let you take like small items into the line. And then you just get a free locker there. Uh, you take a four-digit code, put your stuff in, punch in the four-digit code twice, and then it locks. And you just come back uh, after you're done. Then you go into the middle line there and come back and uh, reopen the locker and get your stuff. It's an interesting little system. But I guess it works. There's just a little bit of confusion as to like who's coming back in to get their stuff and who's putting their stuff in a locker to go get on the ride. It's kind of a bottleneck there. Still think it's kind of ridiculous that they don't let stuff in cargo pockets. I mean, I've ridden three other uh, single rail coasters just like this, same restraints and everything, and they allow stuff in cargo pockets. Uh, I don't know why Jersey Devils like this could be a uh, some sort of state law. I'm not. I'm not sure. But uh, very strange policies here. Anyways, I'm going to continue on. Uh, might do the uh, Sky Screamer next. After maybe another ride or two on Nitro and then work my way back to the other side of the park. So that's what's next. Alright, Nitro's down, so Sky Screamer is next. Looks like good fun.
stay up there. <laughs> Been called Twister here. Next to, I think, what was a skyscraper. No, doesn't seem to be used for anything right now. It's fenced off. This looks interesting. The only one I've really done to these is that lagoon, and it just rotated very, very slowly. This one looks very forceful. I'm not a big fan of flipping. I'm not sure how enjoyable this would be for me. Or for anybody, there's nobody lined up for it. And there's like five people on it. And it's a pretty busy day too. This is where I go to get in line, ride breaks down. So natural. Once again, zero activity at Green Lantern, stand up coaster, or the big green coaster behind it, King Ka. Unfortunate. But we do have an open coaster over here. For now, anyway, Superman Ultimate Flight. Did one just like this at the start of this trip at Six Flags Great America. Good rides, but uh, prepped a loop very intense. Not a big fan of dangling on the brake run at the end of the ride either, but I'll give this a go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Gets me every time. Uh, one train ops on Superman. There's another train in the shed. The station was a mess of people. Oh well. Still a good ride. Just not a fan of the pretzel loop. I do with being in flying coasters for the most part. Uh, coming up next, I think I'm going to go back and do some re-rides on El Toro, and we'll see if Medusa has reopened. That was closed most of the day today, so I'll kind of double-check that. <laughs> system it's pretty good so it's like maybe three quarters of the way like almost right right up to the station and uh, they give you a little ticket you scan it it opens a locker hang on to that ticket put all your loose articles into the locker it's double-sided when you come out you use the same basic there, there's like two scanners you have to use the same side that you used before otherwise it doesn't work um, but you just scan it, scan the same ticket, and then it opens the locker, grab your stuff, and then you drop the ticket off into a little box. Very simple system, easy to use, much needed. Much needed system, so free lockers at El Toro. Hopefully they get them at uh, King De Ka and uh, Jersey Devil. Jersey Devil, they just have, of course, the uh, flash pass. They just have the flash pass lockers, so you can put your phone in, as well as a few other small items if you if you need to. So a good system, much better than the forcing people to pay for lockers. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna head back over to Medusa. It looks like it's closed currently. Um, it's the last major coaster, last major open coaster. For me to ride um so i guess i'll just wait around for it for a little bit and just have a little chill out because it is still very hot a high performance personal oh this is not good and it's free so download it now and please enjoy another attraction at this time okay how about king the car uh uh no how about green lantern no it's all the green coasters for some reason i see no activity in the station this does not look like it's gonna open anytime soon Wonderful. So had three rides in 30 minutes on El Toro. Operations there, fantastic. Two trains, they're going, running up and down the roads, checking all the seatbelts and lap bars. I think it's the best uh, operations here. 
Nitro is great too, but uh, Nitro they just have the lap bar to worry about. So you got to give the award to El Toro for best operations here. Uh, I'm going to take a little chill out and uh, probably grab something to eat and then we'll probably wrap up uh, with some rides on Nitro to finish the night. <laughs> Try and get some more re rides. Maybe Medusa will open. Maybe Green Lantern will open. Maybe King of Cow will open. I'm not holding my breath though. We'll see. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Anyway, signing off from uh, Six Flags Great Adventure Day 2. Take care, guys. Day 3. Last day of the trip. Six Flags Great Adventure once again. We're looking at a couple of uh, expensive lawn ornaments here. Green Lantern, King Mika, still no activity in either of them. It's unfortunate. Looks like two trains operating on Superman today, so that's good. It's a positive. They do have a lot of character meet and greets kind of around the park, mostly with Looney Tunes characters. It's kind of nice. I'm headed towards uh, El Toro. I saw it testing block zones a bit ago. It was, uh, one train was stopped on the lift hill there. So it should be opening pretty soon, hopefully. Looks like the safari is open. If I can ride it, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. By the way, El Toro was still closed. I think they're still testing it. Medusa was listed as open, so I'm wandering over here. This doesn't look very open. Chain on the entrance, trash cans over here. Shouldn't uh, advertise it as being open on the uh, like a wait times thing in the app if it's not open. We are open. <laughs>
grateful to have gotten at least one ride on Medusa. <laughs> back row one of the first screens of the day so i was running pretty slow but uh it's still a good ride i think it is the world's first floorless coaster if i'm not mistaken i'll have to look that one up but yeah medusa it's a solid ride i think that'll be the only ride on medusa that i get on this trip uh it's on one train today I wanted to get some other stuff done. I want to go check out the off-road adventures, see if I can do that. I think it's more rides than El Toro and uh, Nitro. So operations have been fantastic on those two. Okay, so there's off-road adventures. Just did a little bit of research. Looks like you have to proceed to the Frontier Adventure Station to make a reservation for it. I don't know where that is. Um, and there's no way to like search on the map for it. So I'll probably have to ask somebody or just uh, walk around a little bit until I find it. All right, so there's a, I found the entrance and there's a QR code to scan. You can just go in. Once you log into the app, you can make a reservation. There's also priority boarding, but I don't think that's really needed on a fairly quiet day. There's really like nobody here right now. So got my QR code and I'm gonna head in. You good? Yeah. yeah. Now, 
Yeah, I'm gonna blow your guys' minds. Zebras are not black and white at all. They are dark brown with white stripes. As you get a little bit closer and look at their coloring, it is dark brown. There's a little baby right there, guys. Um, can you see one blood straight up? Something really cool about them is that um, they really live in these really dry, hot, arid regions. They can go months without water, and that's due to the fact that they can raise their body temperature to match that outside temperature to 160 degrees. So they don't sweat, so they keep that moisture. They also have giant kidneys that they can use urine back into water, which is what we have in the safari. These are the African bamboos. Um, we don't really know much about them. We call them the ghosts to the forest. I also tell everybody it looks like they're wearing like one of those Halloween skeleton costumes. They got like all these lines on their legs and everything. We do know that their stripes are unique to them, just like uh, zebra stripes. There's about 10 to 15. And the females, the females get to about 18. But when the females about 14 to 16. Then their neck's about 7. Oh, here's our big male right here. Uh, those pointy, uh, those pointy things on top of the head, we call those ossicles. They're not horns, they're kind of like bony protrusions from the skull. They walk in what we call parallel gates. So that means uh, their front and hind leg on the right and the left hand side move at the same time. Behind them, those are red and coley cattle, or the Watusi cattle. They get their name from the Watusi tribe. Their horns get you about six foot in length, but they're not as heavy as you think because they're kind of like heading from the side. And they also, uh, they're kind of like the beast orcs that we saw earlier, except their horns are scimitar shaped. And um, they actually were extinct in the wild in the early 2000s. And due to conservation efforts in 2016 here, <laughs> These are going to be our addicts. If anyone knows the mythical term unicorns, um, this is where we get the term from. Uh, not these ones, but most of their horns are so symmetrical that if you look at from a side, for a while, it looks like one horn. So the story is uh, curvy. And unlike most antelope that kind of run away from their predators as they're approaching, they kind of stand there, stand their ground, and as they get close, they take their horns and quite look in front of them in that big dirt opening. Those are going to be our ostrich eggs. Ostrich eggs are three pounds, which is equivalent to 24 chicken eggs. They're so hard that we can stand on them without them breaking. So, ooh, dads, this is going to be all males. This is our bachelor herd. Um, and uh, their their horns are a little bit thicker, and their necks are a little bit shaggier. They're great climbers. Their hooves are actually built to break and grip onto those rocks without slipping. And um, their horns are also used to kind of dig up dirt and throw more over here. Huh, ah, right here. A very low success rate of pumping. It's only 25% success right here. So, uh, you might get, I can see them right now. If you look in the cement dwelling right here underneath Baba, we have a couple of babies in there. There, uh, right in the front, there's at least one. There's four babies in total. Oop. All right, mom, you good? Okay. She's just down now. They were born a couple of months ago. Um, they're cute. We have two mamas and four babies in there. This one's a little clumsy, so he's taking a semester off. He's not ready to go out on his own yet. He's about a year, year and a half old. Baby is actually there. The be bad, my boys. There they are. He knows they have this white ring around their neck, and that is a great way for the mom to identify who to, technically. It's all muscle. Um, it's really thick and it's all muscle. They use it as a kickstand and they also use it as a they have these little hairs. It looks like they're frazzled all the time. Here they are. And unlike the rheas and the ostriches, and this one, <laughs> unlike the rear and the ostriches, they don't have big wings. They have what we call a visceral wing. It's just one little flap with one claw that has no use. They can't move it or use it, just kind of hangs there. And then the only bird that has a crown was, oh, you see the big male kangaroo? Like I said, he's using it as a kickstand. If he was to move, the tail would follow along with him like a third leg. And like I said, it's because of their uh, their hip joints are fused together. I also tell everybody, look at the way they're laying down. It looks like they're posing for like a magazine or like a photo shoot. I thought it was an upcharge last time I was here. I mean, it probably wasn't. That was really cool. It's a lot of animals. I actually prefer that over the Kilimanjaro safari, the uh, animal kingdom.
this little bar here too. Best to the West. Go check that out. It's kind of tucked away back here behind the log flume. I'll check it out for lunch a little bit later. We have a gift shop there right next to the entrance. Alright, time to get a few more rides on this. What a beauty. You're really close. Okay, um, can I bring a uh, uh, Franklin? No.
say my final goodbyes for now to Nitro. little bit is kind of a microcosm of my whole visit here to Great Adventure. One really good thing that's really fun and then a letdown and one good thing that's fun and then another letdown. Very very uneven visit here. Uh, it's Great Adventure. Operation is still fantastic on Nitro and earlier on El Toro as well. I uh, even though it broke down but that's sometimes that's most of the times beyond the, the ride ops control. A lot of times it's a sensor that needs to be reset or something. Uh, anyway, still had a, a good time here at Great Adventure. I love the safari earlier. That was great. Um, saw so many animals on that. Now I'm going to head out and uh, probably get something to eat outside the park and uh, head over to Philadelphia and fly back home. You can catch that in the uh, travel vlog. So a decent visit here to Great Adventure. I wish King Naka was open. Can't control that. Uh, same with Green Lantern, never got a ride on that. But everything else I rode at least once. Uh, but yeah, very, very uneven visit here. Two trains on some coasters, one train on others. We need a lot to sort out here. I'm interested to see how Flash is once, once that opens. I'm guessing maybe later in the summer. That area is starting to take shape though. Anyways, with that, signing off from Great Adventure. Take care, guys. This is what I'm talking about. The good. Two trains on Superman. Bad. Green Lantern. Closed. <laughs> Just a mix of good and bad here. And one final thing. You know the weather looks nice. It's disgustingly hot out. It's very humid. There's a heat advisory, excessive heat advisory. It's like 90 plus degrees. The weather here hates me. It's official.